All right, guys, so here we are at the end of week five, beginning of week six, and we're down to our deadline for this giant SunTrax mm -hmm. portal sign that goes 90 feet across the roadway. But this is an awesome sign right so here. So glad seeing that right there on the trailer ready to go up. Man, so this is one of nine sections of cladding that's gonna go on that giant 38,000 pound monotube yes. that's up there right now. And this is what's gonna clad onto that monotube to cover it up. Make this it pretty. is the pretty part, yeah. right? Yeah. And there's nine of these 15, 16 foot sections right here. But the important part is this one right here is on the trailer and it's heading out, out the here. door. That's right. Because we're done building it and now it's time to install. So mm -hmm. after all this time, it's a really great sign to see this because this is the beginning of the install and yeah. the you beginning know the, of the end. <laughs> the crazy timeline we had. Yes. Right, right. And um, I mean, we, and guys really showed their character here. Everybody stepped up. They work six, seven days a week taking short lunches and busting their butts to get this stuff out of here and yeah. try to meet that timeline. It's pretty crazy yeah. because the portal sign on the three signs of the project, the entry sign that you guys saw, the giant purple X sculpture that you guys just saw a few weeks ago, and now this is technically the largest one of the bunch. It's got mm -hmm. the most metal, and I want to say, and I don't know exactly, but there's 4,000 square feet of eighth inch aluminum that not only we right. have to fabricate, but we have to paint which is already done. And now we have to get it up in the air, which is kind of crazy, but 4,000 square feet, mm -hmm. giant project, to especially finish in five weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. It's great. Like I say, without the guys stepping up and some of our vendors stepped in to help us too, you know. Mm -hmm. American Metals helped us finding all the aluminum that we needed. You know? Yeah, because aluminum's yeah. kind of scarce right now, guys. Yeah. So, you know, we, it's pretty crazy. If you look at here, we got this four by four aluminum angle that's a quarter of an inch thick. We had 75 yeah, sticks. Yeah, we started with 75. 75, 25 foot sticks of this. Yeah. And then there was something like 126 sheets of five by 10 aluminum. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> crazy, boy, that's a lot of material. Did you really think you were gonna make it here five weeks ago? No, oh, man. It's a we massive had project. Guarded optimism. How's that? Hey, that's a good thing to say right there. I like that. Yeah. So, and, and we still have to install, you know, so mm -hmm. we're not done yet. Yeah. So, the big part, the big fabrication part is very near to completion, which we'll have in the next couple of days. And then we're installing the rest of this week. So, there's pieces. We did the first install pieces first. Mm -hmm. We got the letters done. We got the cladding all done. So, now the installers can be out there installing the cladding on the tube and the letters while we're finishing up the fins that are gonna go next. But they're looking for a finish by Saturday and it's Tuesday right now, so it's gonna Get still over. be a crazy uh, adventure for this next week. So, okay, so we got the cladding, we got the letters up on the top, yeah. and then we got these 12 fins, six on the front that are three different sizes, six on the back that kind of encapsulate the cladding mm -hmm. and the big giant concrete footers down there, right? Yeah. So we still obviously have one to finish here, but look at the giant size of these big hey, white ones. What? Let's catch a scale on this, Dale. Walk down to the end there. Okay. Now you can see how massive these things are. Wow. Wow. I can I can barely touch them at the top. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so these things are massive and they're they're laying down right now. So they're 25 feet in the air once they get installed. <laughs> That's great. I need to be over here like no. He's a little higher on it than I am. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Some of those guys we talked to, I say, are building their businesses, and they asked about expanding the shop, you know, and whether they should or not. But if we wouldn't have, we could have never taken this project. Though. Yeah, and it opens up the doors for a whole bunch of other projects yeah. like it if we want that kind yeah. of work. But the, that's a, that is a great thing. You can't be scared to take that risk to grow the company. I mean, it's challenging for sure. Yeah. And you got all kinds of hurdles and jump, hoops to jump through. But once you do, you grow into that place. And we've said mm -hmm. it over and over again. We came from 1,200 square feet to 2,400 to 6,000 to 10. And, and, and every time you're growing and growing. So yeah. don't be afraid to grow because there's some type of energy, some type of attraction that comes along <laughs> with you're getting this big shop and you got to fill it up. And it actually happens. It does. You know, I don't know. It did. It's magic. <laughs> Wow, 
This is real funny. You know how they always say I'm the show and he's the go? Well he, we're talking about my partner Rick, is over in Greece right now for a two week vacation. Yes, another two week vacation because I remember specifically that fool was in Ireland like at Christmas time and now he's gone again in Greece two weeks. I'm getting stuff done right here, man. We're loading up fins on the trailer, we're sending them out to Sun Trash, we're getting them installed. We're gonna have to flip that up, man. He can be the show and I'm gonna be the go from now on because I'm making shit happen. Man, that's a huge sign. Look at that. 25 feet long, six feet tall at the base. Giant. Open the door, it's time to go. Get it out of here. I'm so excited to get the rest of our floor space back. Now this portal sign is a huge undertaking to install, but until you see the guys working out there with those sections, you just don't realize how massive those pieces are and that they all have to fit into place. Coming forward. And because of all the collaboration during engineering, design, and fabrication, they are all fitting together exactly as they were supposed to. The letters, the cladding, and the fins, oh my. It's absolutely crazy seeing it finally coming together because we've seen this sign on drawings and then the graphic animation they created for more than a year now. And to see this bad boy finally assembled, it looks exactly like we originally envisioned it. We still have some paint touch-ups and punch list items to do, but look at that beast. That sign looks phenomenal. 